Okay, let us discuss this problem. You have to give me the mechanism. So for this, so let us copy first and give me the mechanism. So if you have copied then I can show you this side. Okay, so this is the final product you have. You have to give me the mechanism for this reaction. This we have discussed in the class. This is a malonic ester synthesis. Did you remember? So if you have one CH2 in the middle, this is called malonic acid. And this is a malonic ester. So we discussed in the class malonic acid synthesis, malonic ester synthesis. So how many of you have able to do this one? Okay, I think all of you have done this one. So easy problem. So what you have to do in the first step? You have to generate a yeah, carbon ion. So you have a this hydrogen. So here you have two hydrogen. And these two hydrogens are acidic hydrogen and you have base OET minus and a plus OET minus. Now this base in the first step will take this hydrogen and this goes here so you will generate a carbon ion. So let me generate the carbon ion. So if I show you the carbon ion, I will have OET, OET and then I have a carbon ion with a hydrogen so negative charge. Now next step I have a alkyl halide so I have a halide this bromine. Now you see the product here. Finally, there is no bromine that appears in this product. So this means I have to attack and I have to remove bromine. And that is again the next step of myelonic ester synthesis first to make the carbon ion attack on an alkyl halide. So you have an alkyl halide here. C double bond O. O E T. Are you getting? And here you have Br. So what you are going to do? So this lone pair will attack on this carbon and this goes are you getting and if you copy this thing so what you will have so you will have COET so let me write OET and now this carbon is connected to this carbon so what we have so this carbon one side you have CH3 so this carbon one side is CH3 another side COET so another side you have COOET. Are you getting? Now the next step is hydrolysis OH minus and then H plus. So you do. So if you basically this OH minus is basically done for hydrolysis. So if you have basic hydrolysis you will have. And in case of OH minus this OH minus will attack here this goes OH minus attacks here this goes OH minus attacks here. So you have three OET groups so this will leave in the next step ester basic hydrolysis of ester this OET will go and even this OET will go so what you will have if you remove this OET group so you will have acid so you will have this side COOH O minus basically you will have because the solution is uh, still basic CO minus and here you will have CS3 one side CH3, other side you will have COO minus. Now the next step is acidification. So if you acidify this solution, this side also you will have COOH. So you will have COOH. And this side again COOH. This carbon is connected to one carbon, one side CH3, another side COOH. So this is after acidification. Now you see, 
if you heat this compound even if you not heat a small heating is required and that's why question does not gives you a small heating but that gives you the final product so this means in the next step you have to release one acid that is beta keto acids easily decarboxylate so you see this carbon is alpha carbon and this carbon is beta so if you heat even in this case the question does not write heat we have to assume that there is a small heating is given so if i release this co2 so beta keto acid so this is a beta and this is acid to beta keto beta at beta position of a keto group so if i remove this acid so what i will have so i will have this carbon alpha and then this carbon is connected to one ch3 this side and this side i have cooh group and now this is gone so this acid is gone so i will have this side cooh i'm getting on so this acid is gone so i will have alpha carbon and then alpha carbon is connected to cooh group so this is the final product you have you see your final product is the same you have one acid one carbon that is connected with ch3 one acid one carbon connected with ch3 and then again you have one carbon coh so here also you have one carbon and coh so if you base you can write the same thing something like this it look like nicer oh and then you have to attach one ch3 either you can attach here or you can attach on the top carbon so this is the final product you have now let us write the product in this reaction this is a one step reaction you have to do nothing in this case you simple see and write down the product Okay, so you have basically bromination in the presence of Fe. Fe is acting as a catalyst. Now you have two ring. Either bromine can go in this ring or this can go in this ring. Which should? This ring is deactivated because of this can go here. So resonance is here or this side. So this ring is deactivated. But now in this case, this ring gets activated because of plus R. In this case, you have minus R. So this ring is deactivated. so this ring is deactivated and this ring is activated are you getting so you have one ring that is deactivated one ring that is activated so this means now the bromine will go in this ring at ortho and para position so you will have two product a mainly product will be para because this side you will have some asteric hindrance so if the question says write major product then you have to write only the para isomer but if question does not say anything you write both ortho as well as para so you have this and h so you will have one para product br that is para isomer you will have also ortho product so something like this you will have so these reactions are generally asked in j and this is asked for orientation in the benzene ring reactivity and orientation is important almost every year they ask a question on orientation and reactivity of benzene so you must revise orientation and reactivity of benzene ring just before the exam just see the few chapters of solomon or you can see the how we have discussed in the class that's enough so you remember what are the groups that makes the benzene ring reactive and what are the groups that makes benzene ring dereactive that is you have to see something about plus i effect minus i effect plus r effect and minus r effect that is our important point we have let us discuss the next reaction